the first thing that um, the first thing we've got on our list is uh, there'll be no, no surprises here is um, uh, antisocial behaviour and uh, the fact that alcohol appears to be responsible or play a part in roughly we reckon 70 percent of the uh, antisocial behaviour incidents. So suggestions that came out of uh, our discussions were the strengthening of pub watch which I think um, those of you who remember the original PubWatch scheme was very, very effective. It's now considered to be a lot weaker than it was, so the suggestion is that we look at making that stronger and more effective to improve the uh, experience in the, in the town uh, in the evenings. And uh, we need more, uh, more businesses involved. Only a small proportion of licensed premises are actually involved at the moment. Um, the, other, uh, the next thing is dangerous parking. Uh, there's a feeling that uh, a lot of parking, we're not just talking about parking partly on pavements, we're talking about parking that forces wheelchairs and uh, prams into the road. So the feeling is that we need to uh, increase the enforcement of, of that. So the suggestion is we talk to the town council to find out the most effective way of, uh, of doing it because the police can only act in really severe cases of, uh, of uh, dangerous parking. Uh, another issue, a similar issue, safe cycling, the promotion of safe cycling and uh, the problem of people cycling on pavements. Not necessarily looking for a ban of cycling on pavements because that's a bit unrealistic, but definitely a, a clamping down of irresponsible and dangerous cycling on pavements, particularly in the, uh, in the town centre. Uh, to look at school, uh, how schools are promoting cycling proficiency, and uh, looking at signs and so on. Obviously all things to be developed outside of, uh, of this, uh, this meeting. Uh, bogus callers and distraction burglaries, uh, that's being dealt with um, through neighbourhood watch schemes quite effectively, so the suggestion is that we look at how we can support the growth of neighbourhood watch to cover more of the uh, community area because there's a good mechanism already in place for informing people about the types of uh, burglaries, the types of distraction burglaries, the bogus calls that are actually current. So that works quite well, but needs to be spread more widely. So we're looking at, uh, at how that can be done, maybe more involvement of the Melchior News and uh, Melchior Community Radio and uh, all the media possible. And uh, the last thing on our list, um, Last but not least, support victims of domestic violence. We want to, we feel that we need to, again outside this meeting, we need to look at whether everything's being done uh, to, to, uh, to provide victims of uh, domestic violence with the support they need. There's a lot of support out there. The question is, is that information getting to the people that need it and telling them how to go about getting this support?